Welcome back, Dishonor 2. We have just finished the uh, mission of the observatory. Taken down a whole bunch of witches in uh, a non direct fashion. I figured out that the two bone um, charms I'm missing were the two that Rihanna has on her. You do not get those unless you actually kill her. I did not do that. For obvious reasons, although it's fun to watch um, um, enemies' bullet turn into butterflies. Anyway, for several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats. Waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's Mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. out in this city, but I'll explain. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Howlow is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing this place, and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? Paolo's not that old, but there's so much living written into the lines of his face. Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old Duke, 
Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. But now the new duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district. What was once prosperous is now in ruins. I suppose the duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups at Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stilton's home. Maybe he's still in there, or maybe he's dead. the dust district. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with the skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish. Just realized my microphone wasn't working. Hopefully I didn't make a video or two without my microphone not working. That would have been really annoying. Um, I may have to go back and check this. Anyway, um, there are four ways to get through this section. One of them is to take out either of the leaders and bring their body to the um, opposing side, which makes the opposing side peaceful. You can take them both out and uh, put the bodies in boxes and ship them off for supposedly non-lethal. I mean, they have to be alive, obviously. Or you can solve the puzzle on your own using either your own logic or there's a logic puzzle solver online. <laughs> but I don't have the achievement yet, trophy, for uh, siding with the overseers. So, I'm going to do that way uh, to take out Pilo. Pow, hello. Okay, I just checked it. <laughs> Apparently, whatever uh, happened, happened halfway through my uh, first Dishonored video yesterday. So my second Dishonored video didn't have any dialogue for me, 
Except if you listen really closely, you can hear me talking from far away because apparently it was some... I don't even know what op what uh, option was chosen. It was default on my recording software. I don't know what my system defaults to because I don't use microphones for anything else but this. Anyway, let's get on with the killing. Which seems to be the way things are going, despite how peacefully I've been trying to do it. For time and time, I try to be peaceful, but Emily and the Outsider have both branded me a killer, so why not? was a man from old land. Huh. What is this? What? What was that? Somebody's down! What? Celeste. I'm hurt! Let's have a look. My arm! <gasps> Shit! job to clean it up. So if I had two, and I gave him one, I still get to eat one. Then if I eat it, no, no, if he eats it, then, then what? out of my ears.
district. And the Howlers can't. Paolo has a price on Burns' head. And the vice overseer. Hello, Emily. Stilton's home is just beyond here. I've been doing reconnaissance. Talking to people. The overseers and the howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the howlers and the overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. City. I'm not sure why Stilton's house needed to be shut up tight like this, but what do you think? Can you crack it? Your face is cut. Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go.
Stilton or watching him. I was gonna pay him off for the secret, but Durante got beat down by the overseers and taken away. I don't even understand what this is. I don't see any seams. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick, like he wore it a real locksmith who made it. No, this was built by Karen Jindosh. Scary smart. He's the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. So can you open it? Or maybe just solve it? No, I can't do either. It's a lock designed by a man who creates machines that kill people. You can keep your money, I'm not touching it. Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. <sighs> Stay on your side or you'll be spitting teeth. Far as I know, you might be an overseer spy. Cut you into pieces. I'll cut you in half.
This must be Paolo's place. Virum. In case you're wondering, Paolo's not one of those unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Circonos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? 
Once the Abbey's off our backs, I'll make it too expensive for the Duke to run the mines. The workers stop digging, the Duke will see that mines producing at half speed are more profitable than mines producing at nothing. For better working conditions and less dust in the streets, we'd be happy to up our payments. There's a way to satisfy everybody. First, in this district, then across the city. The people who work the mines have more power than they know. Thank you, Paolo. <sighs> all right, I'm stepping away for a moment. Don't drink all the rum while I'm gone. Yeah. 
Someone is asking for... Serves you right for killing one of mine. Who are you working for? That's the...
Give us what you got. No use running! End of the road for got you! It. I'm back here! Oh. Someone.
good riddance. Impressive. Oh, disgusting. Huh. A dead heretic. Always good news. Huh? Someone brought down the cursed leader of the Howlers. Is that Paolo? <laughs> this is unexpected, but welcome. <sighs> Do you have any idea the good you've done? With Paolo out of the way, I've got big plans for Kanaka. I've heard about you and your ambitions, Vice Overseer Byrne. But for me, this was a means to an end. Does the Abbey remember its friends? Yes. We do. And our enemies. What is it you want? I need to get into Aramis Stilton's home. Now that's a curious thing to want. There's something very wrong with Stilton's house. It's actually a great concern to me. I need to know what happened there. Help me, and you'll benefit again. Thanks to the Duke, we've lost our proper place here in Karnaka. And we've been fighting just to hold the streets against the heretic Paolo. But you stopped his black heart for me. And for that, I'll give you what you want. I'm listening. Interrogating one of the Howlers, we learned that some of them knew how to open up the Jindosh lock and enter Aramis Stilton's home. Probably just Paolo and a trusted few. What you're looking for is probably connected to why the Duke had Karen Jindosh seal up Stilton's home. All right, then. This might be the most worthwhile visit I've ever paid to the Abbey. I'll remember your help, Vice Overseer Byrne. As will I, Assassin. Take our friend here away. I hope you find what you're looking for. Stilton's house is cursed. Look after yourself. No good comes from putting aside the strictures. Only madness and death. Remember that.
gonna do it for this one. Next one shouldn't take long. The time episode is in a small area. All I gotta do is uh, use the code I just found to open that lock. Then I need to... Before I do that, I want to get a couple more runes and things from this area. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you didn't already do that. And there's a notification bell and also a video you might enjoy. Thanks again.